Hey, it's Jabo. Welcome to Brickzar. This video is brought to you by Joe. Joe who, you may ask? Joe Mama. So we have got the new Starry Night Lego set. So it's really nice for Lego finally to give us another Doctor Who crossover. Yeah, we're really excited for this. Uh, of course, as you know, Vincent van Gogh appeared in the episode of, or an episode of Doctor Who. So that's what this is based on, not, but I pretend like it is. So The Starry Night is one of Vincent's most famous paintings. I guess that's why they made it. I don't know a lot of the, the, the history of it. I just know that in 1889, uh, that's the same year that the other Joe, not Joe Mama, but Joseph Bertrand, came up with his probability problem that later became the Monty Hall problem, where people intuitively make the wrong choice 67% uh, of the time because, yeah, it's a whole, a whole other rabbit hole. I, I don't need to go down to math rabbit hole. This is about art. And so this set, <laughs> set 2133, uh, the Lego Ideas, uh, the Starry Night set. This is the 41st Lego idea set. Actually, it feels like there's been more than 41 Lego idea set. I, I don't, I don't know. But anyway, this one was just really amazing. So it's based off of the painting by Vincent Van Gogh. Uh, that's the actual painting. But this is more a 3D representation. It's almost like this is what he actually saw. Was he uh, when he was painting? Actually, no. It's, it's, it's not what he actually saw. But that's what he painted. But this is 3D. It's so neat. That they made this. 3D. Look at that. So don't be careful where you place it if you you, if you mount it on the wall because somebody will probably knock some of it or all of it off of the wall. <laughs> and I never realized that the Starry Night was actually like 50 feet tall because right there, Vincent, he's 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 hanging out. <laughs> right? Uh-oh. Um, whoops. You gotta be careful how you touch this thing. So Vincent, yeah. Sorry. One of the stars fell from the sky. That was a shooting star. Uh, literally happened when he was painting it. Uh, oh, I just love this set, though. So I actually feel like I need to be on the other side of the camera. So I'm going to come over there. So this, this set, I built it. It took me several days building it in the evening after I got home from work. But I thoroughly enjoyed the building. There is things that might be viewed as tedious and easy to make mistakes. Uh, and getting the sky, they have the all these layers of plates and there are all these different variations of blues teals uh, and it's easy to mix them up if you're and i did that and then it's a pain to take them apart so i mixed that up and then there's some of the swirls the colors i mixed up and i felt like much like mr bean in the first bean movie when he messed up whistler's mother i made a couple of mistakes because i ended up needing a piece i couldn't find and i back trace my steps and I realized I used the wrong color in one step. Not that you probably would have noticed when I got done, <laughs> but, but I, I wanted to build it the way it was per the instructions. And yeah, to, in order to take the piece off, much like Mr. Bean, I kept messing up my, my artwork here. Another piece would fall off and then another, and then I'm like, oh, where does that piece go? Uh, but it, it uses a lot of different techniques uh, to give you this textured 3D look. In fact, the this portion is actually built up as you go, and then it's connect, the whole thing connects on there. So that, that was interesting. And then this is the, the tree. I guess these are trees over here on this side. Those were like the last thing you built. I guess it looks like when you look at the actual Vincent Van Gogh painting, it looks like there are trees in the foreground. I hadn't really researched it enough to, to know, but yeah, he did paint it in 1889. It is on something that was purchased by the Museum of Modern Art. Which I think that's what Mama stands for. I don't know. <laughs> and it's got a little hanger on the back that you can hang it. Oh no, the, 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 I just killed the town folk. So the, uh, the, the, the little houses fell off. Let me put that back on there. So yeah, it's, it's, you, if, you, if you're going to hang this on the wall, you got to really make sure you're not hanging it where people can walk near it or it will fall apart. Or if you have a bolt of lightning strike near your house, there'll probably be something fall off of it. But it was it was a really fun build, and I've had several friends uh, that have been over in the last couple of days that have seen it, and they're this, you know, 
Sometimes a Lego set can be on my dining room table and nobody notices it, but everybody was like commenting on this. They thought it was really neat. And it did inspire my daughter to want to get another Vincent Van Gogh painting that we used to have, but apparently we sold at a yard sale. Not a real one, you know, a print that we had. <laughs> it's just, he's a really good artist, and it's sad that he didn't get the recognition of of his great artwork while, while he was still alive, because he did die like a year after he painted this. Uh, but this is this is a really great Lego set, and I and I know it's not for everybody. I mean, yeah, it's not a Star Wars set. It is a Doctor Who set, so you got to be a Doctor Who fan uh, to really like it. But no, it's a really nice piece. I think it's a good value for the price, even though there are a lot of little pieces. It was one hundred and seventy dollars. You get twenty three hundred sixteen pieces. Yes, a lot of them are small plates and tiles, but it's got a lot of good black slopes and stuff to make this picture frame and plates and bricks. So a lot of good, I mean, black is a color that is always useful. So even if you were just parting this thing out, there's some of the pieces are very useful. I know sometimes the colors, the pastels, aren't necessarily the colors uh, that people would want. But I don't know, it's a pretty good set. You get the Vincent Van Gogh minifigure with it and they got this little swivel arm that connects to the side of it. It's got a little easel. I don't know how his little arms are gonna reach to even the top of this easel, let alone the top of this big painting. Uh, but I guess this is, the painting is supposed to represent the thing that he painted, and he's down here painting it. I don't know. Pretty nice, though. Really great set. So I do recommend getting the set. I don't normally even say that in videos, but it's pretty cool. If you like art, you'll like it. If you don't like art, you might not, but I like it. And everybody that's been over here and seen it has liked it. I just has liked it. I just need to figure out where I'm going to put it. That's the next thing. And you know what's not a work of art? My basement is a mess. It still is. Yeah, I got a lot of work to do.